Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see in this little spot in my room. Actually, it's slightly different to how I've filmed before. Normally I film it with the camera sitting right at my dressing table and the window's over here, so the light like hits the side of my face and it makes this side of the room look really bright. Now I've just turned the camera slightly to the side and don't know why I've never ever done that before because it's life changing. Great, such better life. So yeah, basically I thought I would just pop on and do a little life update, chatty q &A video. I feel like I've literally not done one of these videos in so long. It's all been vlogs and there's been like a lot going on and I've not actually sat down and spoke to you guys and I've missed chatting to you guys, properly sitting talking to you. I actually really enjoy it and I feel like this has made me realise how much like I've missed not doing it properly. So yeah, I thought what better way to kickstart the new year. Well this isn't actually my first video of the new, new year. I've already done a vlog. But we're starting here, this is where we're starting from because we're moving forward from here. Um, yeah, chatty video, why not? And also guys, I know I've said this many, many times before, many, many times before, but you can literally hold me to this now. I'm going to be bringing out a video every single week. I'm actually holding myself to it because it's annoyed me how many times I've said it and it's not happened but it's happening. So this is this week's video and then tomorrow I'm filming a really exciting video which I'm gonna put up for you guys next week and I've got my next few planned after that. So yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like I've just missed YouTube so much and I just don't know why when obviously I started doing this job full time, I just find it quite hard to like juggle everything and fit everything in and fit like time for myself in, like friends, family, like I really actually did struggle with like getting to grips with all of it and because like I'm basically working for me obviously I have like my management and stuff but like it's up to me how I split up my time and what I do and I feel like at the beginning I did actually kind of struggle with it a bit. This is getting really deep this is not meant to be a really deep video this is meant to be fun and exciting but yeah I mean this is where my mouth is taking me so let's go with it. Um, yeah I just feel like I was struggling to get to grips with how to like split up my time and stuff like that but now I've really like got a hang of it all I know what I want to do and what I need to do and how to do it shall we say um so yeah I managed to split my time up a lot better and work out what I want to do so there is going to be a video every single week if that's what you guys want I don't know if people want a video a week is that being annoying <laughs> I don't know let me know you can let me know in the comments below if you want a video a week but yeah I thought today let's just do a little life update there's lots of questions here Um, I'm gonna turn the brightness down on that phone a bit because it's making me look like there's a spotlight on me Um, there's a lot of questions on here I've actually screenshot them all so I've got them all here Um, I'm gonna go through them they're quite random I've not really sat and put them into categories because I kind of want to just go through the questions and chat and not plan out what I'm going to say before I come on here and stuff so if this is a bit of a ramble and it kind of is a bit random and not really any structure to it then that's what's going to be because I just want to come on and have a little chat. So I did want to chat to you guys like a little bit before I go into the questions um, just to kind of have a little chat instead of like rambling through loads of questions because the questions are quite random which I expected anyway I knew you guys were going to ask all different things and whatever and I just said literally ask anything at all and I'll answer it um, but one of the questions on here which has literally been asked the most I think if this is like my full time job or do I have another job um, lots of you obviously know that I graduated uni and I went to uni for like four years if you've been here from the start then you will know all about the uni thing but I'm not going into depth about that because it's actually not really got much to do with it so yeah the question of am I doing this full time to have another job is literally the most asked question on there um, and I thought I would just come on and actually do like a proper life update with you guys and talk about that at the start because I feel like I've actually not ever really said on here like that this is what I do full time so this is my job <laughs> this is what I do full time um, sorry, what happened to my voice there? Um, this is what I do full time. Aquarius obviously are my management and yeah, they're amazing. They're actually amazing. Like I cannot explain everything they've done for me so far has just been so great. I would not be able to do this without them. It literally makes me so happy. I love this job so much. It's so fun and enjoyable and 
yeah, I just feel like it for me is the right thing, perfect thing for me to be doing. Um, yeah, I love it so much. So this is what I'm doing full time. I don't do anything else. This is my full time job and I wouldn't actually be able to do anything else because it takes up so much time. I feel like sometimes like my work is like my life at the moment, um, but I kind of enjoy it. <laughs> and obviously I still like have a really good social life and whatever else, but like this, this is like my life and I love it. And I think because I love it, that's why I want to put so much time into it. I kind of started doing this properly like when we first went into the first lockdown and then once I finished uni I sat down with my mum and dad and whatever and I said like what do you think I should do like I, I want to do this full time it feels like a bit of a risk like I don't know if it's silly and they were just like go for it like you just need to do what's going to make you happy if this is what you want to do then you need to do it so I done it and it's the best decision I've ever made because it's just amazing and I'm just so happy and grateful for everything with this job at the moment and I do have lots of exciting things coming up actually next week um, I think I'm maybe going to the like biggest event that I've been to yet in fact yes I am going to the biggest event I've ever been to <laughs> it's kind of crazy I can't believe it's actually happening and I'm actually going like it's very 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 surreal Um, I don't know whether to say what it is or not because I kind of want to keep it as like a little surprise so that when I go it's like all in the moment so I don't think I'm going to say just what it is yet but I think with the timing and stuff knowing that it's like next weekend you might kind of guess what it is I'm literally so excited and I'm gonna vlog it so I'm definitely gonna vlog it so you guys will be coming along with me. So yeah, basically life update. This is my full time job. I don't know how it's taken me so long to come on here and do a video to say that this is what I'm doing full time. And I feel like you guys have all been a bit like, what are you doing? Like, well, we don't know what you're up to. That's kind of the life update. I'm a full time blogger. Is that, yeah, blogger. I, th I think that's the right term. Um, I don't really know what else you would call it. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with these questions now and We'll just go through them all and I don't know what order I'm going to do them in. We'll just see what happens. Um, they are quite random. Well, not random, but like there's not really a theme or anything. Like they're not all about work. They're not all about like clothes and stuff like that. It's kind of just random chat. So here we go. So the first question is, has 2022 been good for you so far? So I feel like that's kind of hard to answer because it's literally just like the start of the year. Um, and to be honest it's actually not been the greatest start um everyone who like knows me like my friends and stuff will know that we had a bit of a disaster at the start of the year um me and taylor it's not actually like as well it is a pretty big deal to us but it's not as like big a deal or as bad as it's sounding i don't want to go into depth with it in this video because it's like a really long story and I just can't be bothered actually talking about it today because I'm in a really good mood and I don't want to dwell on it but we had a bit of a disaster with a holiday which was meant to be this really amazing holiday for my birthday and we were meant to be there for my birthday and it just was an absolute disaster and I was really upset about the full thing um, and I know that this sounds ridiculous because it's literally a holiday and people will probably be watching this going that is not that big a deal people have way worse problems and I know people have way worse problems but for me like this year is just not starting off that great because of that um but like to be honest my friends were saying this to me at the weekend as well like I actually haven't dwelled on it kind of sounds just like the now like I have been but I kind of just we just both like got on with it and we were like well it's just one of these things like it's out of our hands there's nothing we can do about it and that's what my friends were saying to me at the weekend they were like I literally don't know how you weren't having like a complete meltdown because the way that it all happened and stuff was just like you could not write it like we did not think that it was going to happen it was just a disaster but yeah I don't want to go into detail on this video because I don't want to rush what I'm saying about it um because I feel like you need to be a bit careful when you're like coming on here to moan about things as well and I don't want this to be a moany video this is supposed to be a hi chatty happy I'm in a good mood today um so yeah I'm not going to go into detail on it but I think maybe in like my next video or the next one again I'll chuck chat to you guys a little bit better about it I honestly just get so muddled up with my words on here when I'm talking I think it's because I talk so fast I'm like bleh, 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 and it just comes out all wrong but yeah that happened at the very beginning of the year and 
it was just a bit shit really um and then things have been fine like genuinely generally things have been fine um and obviously what I've got going on next week, I've got a really, really exciting week next week. So I feel like since February started, it's actually been a better month. Although I did have a complete mishap on Saturday. We went out for like a late birthday night with um, all our friends. And <laughs> basically I left my house at half past three to go and drive and get my makeup done. And my appointment was at quarter past four. And it was like a 40 minute drive. Um, so... I left at half past three and then as I went onto the motorway I got stuck in this absolute nightmare traffic so there had been an accident and then I ended up stuck in it for two hours straight like not moving and by the time I got home everyone was coming to my house half an hour later so I've just realized I've lost one of these little jewels from my ring that was literally there like 15 minutes ago sorry to just completely change the story I think it's because I go like this with my hands all the time when I'm talking. I'm going to take that off because it looks a bit not very nice. Um, yeah, total mishap on Saturday and I had to literally get ready in about 20 minutes. Thankfully I'd done my hair in the morning because if you know me, you know I'm literally late to everything. So how I managed to get ready in half an hour, 20 minutes for a full scale birthday night out, I don't know, but we done it. So that's the only little mishap that's happened recently and that is just not even that big a deal like I was just kind of like not too fussed like couldn't get my makeup done but it's not the end of the world I was just kind of laughing about it more because I was like no doubt like this has happened to me but yeah the situation with the holiday in January was not a good start to the year um really not good but now it's February I feel like things are looking up I've got a really good week next week and yeah I'm very excited for 2022 because I have lots of good things planned and happening and yeah these things happen like things are out of your control there's sometimes nothing you can do about it and you just need to get on with it and there's definitely people with way worse problems than me and especially a holiday but yeah, it wasn't the best start. <laughs> so someone else has asked, how is your Invisalign journey going? So I don't actually have like Invisalign on just now. I only went two weeks ago for my first kind of appointment and it was just like a general appointment for the dentist to look at my teeth, to talk about what I wanted to do. And I'm actually going back tomorrow for like a scan and stuff like that. I don't really know what else we're doing, but I'm vlogging the full thing like from start to finish. I know it'll take a while, but I'm gonna upload a big YouTube video on it when it's all done. And I've got from start to finish to show you all, but we are doing Invisalign. My teeth aren't like overly squint, but I'm gonna try and show you guys what I mean if I can stop talking. It's like here, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a tooth that sits really, really far back. And when I smile, sometimes it looks like I've literally got a tooth missing. And this side here, like, are just a little bit squint. And these are a little bit squint down the bottom. So we're going to do Invisalign to straighten them all out. And then we're going to do some composite edge bonding and whitening. So I'm really excited for that. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys on the full process. I'm having it done at Westerwood Dental in Glasgow. So if you want to check them out, they are so good. Their work that they do is just amazing and I'm really, really excited. So yeah. Someone has asked, what does an average day slash week in your work life look like? So this is actually something that I had a meeting with Amy and Rebecca from my management about last week because we just wanted to go through like everything I want to do this year and like what I'm going to do to get there and stuff like that so I've actually kind of changed up like how I'm working my week and I'm like splitting it up a lot better than I was before and um, as I said at the start of this video I think I was like struggling to get my head around like splitting things up and like time management I guess like I'm not really the best with time management so but I'm getting better definitely getting better so I've kind of been doing each day of the week for like something different so on a Monday I've been trying to go and shoot my content on a Tuesday I've been shooting like loads of TikTok content just in the house a Wednesday which was yesterday but I had loads of other stuff to do yesterday like loads and loads of admin that I had to get through so a Wednesday is usually my YouTube day um, but I just moved that to like today this week and done all my admin yesterday just because it worked out for like better filming today and then a Friday I just kind of pick up like any little bits and bobs that need done like general stuff or shooting content again stuff like that I feel like every week is really really different but that's how I'm trying to like split it up at the moment because I feel like sometimes having like a day for each thing is better for me obviously 
obviously with this job like it's just totally different all the time so I do need to just kind of go with the flow a bit and like change it up but like I do like having a routine so that's kind of what I'm trying to do at the moment um but average day in my life I would say I've been trying to get up really early in the morning well <laughs> I actually just said really early this is not really early I've been trying to get up at eight or half past eight every morning people are literally gonna laugh because I know that that's not that early um but I'm finding it quite hard <laughs> so I'm getting up at like eight or half eight and trying to get to the gym in the morning and get that out of the way and then come home and get all ready for the day and get on with whatever work I have to do and then usually at night during the week I literally just see Taylor and we chill and yeah that's an average day in my life. Sometimes I'll have events during the week that I go to and then those are like really exciting weeks but that is like an average day in the life for me. How did you and Taylor meet? Just on the topic of him. I actually think there's like an in-depth story on this in a Q&A with Taylor on here but to summarise, basically we already knew each other from school and we had like kind of the same group of pals at the time but Basically when I first properly like met him and we started speaking was when we all went to tea in the park um, I think that must have been like 2016 <laughs> So that's when we first properly met and like we had been speaking to each other a little bit before that but like only on like text and stuff um, And yeah we started speaking then and we were together the full weekend with all our friends and stuff too And since then that was it but then he literally took about four months to ask me out which doesn't sound that long but at the time when we were at school like everyone was like oh my god like why is this taking so long like that's so long four months and like even when I think back now I'm like that was so long and Taylor's mum sometimes says them as well like why did you wait so long like what were you waiting for we were literally seeing each other all the time and he just didn't ask me and I was like adamant to never bring it up to him and then one day he just asked and that was it and the rest is history. So yeah, don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> that looks really funny. So I don't know if there's any more like work kind of questions on here. I don't want to sit and do like loads and loads of work questions because I know it's not of interest to everyone. But there are a few on here that I'm just going to answer quickly. So a lot of you have asked how much money do I earn per month from doing this job. Um, I'm probably never going to come on here and tell you exactly how much I earn. <laughs> I don't know if anyone would do that in any job, but I don't think I'm going to outright answer that question. Um, I am making a very comfortable amount of money, um, but that's all I'm going to say. I don't think I need to come on and say exactly how much. I love this job and the money is obviously a bonus side to it, but yeah, I'm not going to outright answer that question. <laughs> Okay, next kind of work question is how did you get a management team? Did you contact them? Did they contact you? There's a lot on here like that. There's other ones like how did you get into influencing? Any tips? That is a question I literally get asked all the time and I don't really know how to answer it because I don't think I ever set out at any point thinking like I want to do this job, like this is the job I want to do and I'm going to do it. It literally just kind of happened. While I was at uni, I done like bits and bobs here and there and then as I said when we went into lockdown the very first time um it just kind of came about um I've known Amy and Kristen for years um from when they done all the events and stuff at quiz so when they started Aquarius we were just kind of talking to each other about it and they signed me like right at the very beginning and I've just been with them since then and it's just picked up crazy amounts since I've been with them. I'm not actually sure how you go about signing with them. Um, now I don't know what like the situation is if they are reaching out to people or if you reach out to them but if you send them like a little DM or something on the Aquarius Instagram page I am sure they'll get back to you about all of that. Um, sorry this camera's flashing something at me because it's went on to like 24 minutes. Literally just as I was going to say that camera is about to cut me off for speaking too much, it cut me off. So I think I'm rambling on here and I'm going to need to try and wrap this up a wee bit. This is so funny right because me and Lydia always say to each other, this is Lydia Butler by the way, you probably 
follower or whatever but yeah that's my bestie lids um literally when we speak to each other which is every day we send voice notes and it's just like so much like random shit that we say in these voice notes and we always say to each other like i'm sorry i'm rambling on and that like there's probably no point listening to that i'm talking a load of rubbish and i feel like that's what i just sometimes come on here and do it just it just like comes out <laughs> i can't control it my tips for it, if you want to start doing it would just be like just find what you want to focus on so mine is obviously like fashion and like lifestyle kind of stuff so just find what you're like passionate about and go on and post what you want and post really good like high quality content and just be yourself and yeah i think that's all you can really do with it i don't think there's like a real book of what you can do to do this job and yeah i feel like it just kind of happened with me so i don't know if i'm the best person to ask and i don't know if this is rubbish advice but just give it a go and see what happens. Okay, so next question is, what do you do to keep fit and healthy, diet, gym routine, etc.? So I'm actually thinking of doing like a full video on this soon, like a what I eat in a day, like gym routine type thing. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? You can let me know in the comments if that's something you would want to see. Um, I feel like in the last few weeks, I've really started to get like back on going to the gym and stuff again. The last kind of six months of last year, I was like AWOL, don't know what I was doing with in regards to going to the gym. I wasn't going to the gym, that's what I was doing. And in like 2019, before 2019, 2020, um, beforehand I was literally like obsessed with the gym loved going would go all the time went to my PT I just kind of lost it last year I don't know why but I feel like I'm getting into it and um, so I kind of just go to the gym whenever I feel like it try and go like maybe two or three times a week and then I go to my PT another one or two days a week and we do like boxing and stuff it's really fun and when I go to the gym I normally just do like some cardio and ab stuff and um, I probably should change up a wee bit but I'm a bit scared to go and do like heavy lifting weights in the gym <laughs> I don't know why I've went to like my PT for ages and done all of that but I just could never do it on my own I think I'm too scared of dropping them but yeah that's kind of what I do but I'll do like an in-depth video on what I eat in a day and gym workouts if you guys want to see that so someone's actually asking this is a very quick one where the set is from in my story that I put these questions up on today it's from be able on Instagram um don't know why I said that like that, poor shaking my head. But yeah, they have the nicest gym sets and it's really, really good quality. It's so thick and I love wearing it to the gym because sometimes I get a little bit worried about wearing gym leggings and everyone can see your pants. <laughs> I feel like this is a common theme for me. I keep buying like far too thin gym leggings, but those ones are really good. And also ASOS ones that I linked on my story the other day that you all went crazy about. They are the best gym leggings I've ever had. So Taylor's actually asked a question on here himself. And I'm going to read it to you. Sorry if you can hear my stomach grumbling, by the way. I'm literally so hungry right now. So I am going to go soon. But just for the record, he has asked, how is Taylor so stylish and cool? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to answer that. And it's also not anonymous, Taylor. If you're watching, I can see you asking that question. Okay, so last two questions. So many of you have asked um, how I do my eyebrows and this is a question that I've been getting asked so much recently on Instagram and TikTok as well which is just so random because I don't think I've actually started doing anything different to them from the way I've done them for a while but I'm actually going to run and grab the product that I use so I can show you guys. So two six. I just went to grab this. I got a big like PR box sent from Be Perfect the other day and it had like um, lots of nice tissue paper and stuff in it and I've just like gave myself a paper cut on it I'm really stinging mm. but this is brand new not out packaging yet and I'm so excited to open it because a fresh one of these is like an actual dream so this is the brow soap I use it's the indestructible brow indestructible brow <laughs> by be perfect it is amazing sorry I'm just checking that that's not bleeding um it's literally amazing this is what I use to like brush them up Um, it's so so good I literally just like put like some water on a little spoolie like this and rub it in and then brush it up I literally would swear by this it's so so good Um, this isn't like a paid ad or anything by the way I've not been asked to insert this into this video but this is what I use and because I work with them I do actually have a little discount code so in case anyone wants to go and buy this I'm just gonna leave the discount code here so the discount code is Abigail 20 
it should give you 20% off. And this is so cheap anyway, so the discount code makes it so good. And then I use this little MAC. Oh, YouTuber alert. Then I use this little MAC pencil. I don't even know what this is called. I feel like this is ancient. MAC Eyebrow Styler Crayon. Um, and it's in shade Stud. Don't know if that's going to focus. But yeah, this is really good. And it's nice for just making like little fine lines and it not being too heavy. Um, so yeah, these two. And last question that I'm going to end this on because... Uh, uh, this is maybe why I'm in a really excited mood. Someone has asked, when is your next... Well, this person's actually said, when is your next vacay? I'm guessing you mean holiday. So, it's soon. <laughs> I don't want to go into detail about this because after the disaster that we had last month. I don't want to jinx anything for myself, but it is very soon and I'm very excited. So keep your eyes peeled because there will be a vlog from that holiday. But yeah, I'm not going into detail because I don't want to jinx anything for myself. I think I'm scared. Yeah, I think that's everything. There was a lot of kind of samey ones and there was a lot on there. So I'm really sorry if I did miss your question, but I think I've managed to get my way through most of them. And yeah, I've really enjoyed filming this little video. This has been so fun and definitely hold me to it that I'm gonna be back on here with a video a week. Sorry, I had something else going through my head there and it actually stopped me from speaking. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be on here with a video a week. So please subscribe and you'll be able to keep up with whenever I put a video up and yeah, I hope you want a video a week. Let me know in the comments if you do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And actually, before I go, I need your guys' help. So I'm going to go and get some Valentine's nails tomorrow. And I can't decide what to get. So these are one of the ones that I've seen. I think I need to move for you to see that. I'm literally balancing on a stool. So these are the first ones I've seen. They're like kind of milky white with like little red love hearts. And then I've seen these which are like more pink and like square with little red love hearts. I'm balancing on the stool right now. And then I seen these, which is actually on Jasmine's page. Love Jasmine's content, by the way, guys. Definitely go and check it out if you don't follow her already. And she's so nice. But these I seen on her page and they're literally so cool. They're like French tip. I actually think the first ones might be my favorite. Um, so let me know in the comments below, what Valentine's nails should I get? I'm gonna get them done tomorrow night. So plenty of time for you to let me know. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm gonna stop rambling on now because I feel like this was a bit 100 miles an hour. I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to like actually feel like I'm properly back on YouTube and gonna be consistent with it. Um, Cause I really enjoy making these videos and yeah, thank you so much for watching as always and subscribing and all your support and I'll speak to you guys very soon.